All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about Android 11 and also Samsung One UI 3.1, coming of course to the beloved budget tablet, the Galaxy Tab A7 here. We can also answer a few additional questions that were asked in regards to that. Let's go ahead and jump in. Now, if you do own this little guy here, then you may be aware already that the Android 11 is coming to this tablet. And depending on where you live and also the model of the Tab A7 that you own, you may have already gotten the update. And that will be along with the March 2021 patch. I know there is kind of a delay there because I just got the March 2021 update yesterday well two days ago obviously samsung is rolling out the android 11 update by regions and some parts of europe or i should say some countries in europe have already started seeing this thing available on their tablets on the lte models i believe france germany the uk switzerland i know there are quite a few countries that have gotten it already and of course the main question to a lot of viewers who actually live in north america their question is always you know is it here yet is it in america is it in the u.s yet obviously the answer is no not yet if it were here i probably would have updated this live like i did with my tab s6 like but anyways so it's not here yet we just have we just have to be patient and just wait till this rollout actually hit us here and as soon as it becomes available i'm going to make sure to do a live update of my well maybe not a live i'm going to do it live in a the video then go ahead and upload that video for you guys to watch it on there so i'm going to make sure i do the same thing again like i just said like I did with the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and do that live. This update batch is hitting at least three devices, the Galaxy Tab A7, like I just mentioned, the Galaxy A31, and also the Galaxy A41. The expectation is that just like it was the case with the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, it will skip One UI 3.0 and go directly to One UI 3.0. One, I'm gonna talk about some of the changes that you should be expecting with this update here. And before we talk about that, I wanna bring up a question that actually segues pretty well into those changes. And that question is, will the Galaxy Tab A7 get Samsung DeX? And my answer to that question is gonna be, even though Samsung as a company tends to surprise us like they did by making Samsung DeX available on the Tab S6 Lite, I personally don't think that they will make that available on the Galaxy Tab A7. Now, don't get me wrong, it would be so awesome to have that on the Tab A7. I would be just as excited to see it on this tablet as I was when I saw it on the Tab S6 Lite. But you have to remember that this used to be considered somewhat of a, you know, an exclusive feature that was only available on some flagship tablets, I'm sorry, some flagship devices by Samsung. So it was kind of a major surprise to see it on the Tab S6 Lite. But then again, even though we have that available on the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, it's still not the exact Samsung DeX that you would find on the Galaxy Tab S7 or the Tab S7 Plus, right? So you still get Samsung DeX on the S6 Lite. You have the core functions, but some of the stuff that, some of the extra stuff that it does on the Tab S7, you don't have that available on the S6 Lite. So who knows, they may tailor something that would fit well on the Tab A7, but again, I very, very much doubt it. And again, I'm not saying this to be negative. You all know that I'm a very, very positive person. So I'm just thinking it's less likely to happen on the A7. And of course, the One UI version 3.1 found on the S6 Lite enables that Samsung DeX support on the Galaxy S6 Lite. The A7 is going to be updated to that 3.1. I just think without the support for Samsung DeX. So with that being said, you can be hopeful. I am hopeful that they add that to this A7. But do not put all your hopes on there. Do not cling on it. Just be hopeful if it happens, that would be fantastic, but don't you know really expect them to do that on here. However, some of the things that you should be expecting to see on the A7 once it's updated to Android 11 would be things like a better user interface in terms of not only the design, but also the actual practical users of that user interface, right? The Samsung tablets that have already gotten the Android 11 update along with One UI 3.1 showed quite a few small changes that may not have seemed like much, but truly, truly improved 
usability. And that would be in terms of performance and security also. It definitely makes the tablet better. So, and according to some of the leaks, right, you should be expecting pretty much all of that stuff to be available on the A7 once you get that update rolled out to your tablet. You know, things like quicker access to smart home control, one-time permissions, a centralized media player widget right below the quick settings toggles. And if you follow the channel for a while, then you must have heard me talk about the Samsung ecosystem a number of times, right? So the update is really going to take the way the Tab A7 connects with other devices to the next level. It's going to continue to fit well in that Samsung family and communicate even more efficiently with other Samsung devices. Things like chat bubbles along with conversation section in the notification area, auto permission reset, one-time permission as I mentioned earlier, and much more. Now if you've been using One UI for a while then you probably know that One UI has truly evolved over the years and another proof of that is going to be found on your tablet on the Tab A7 once you get hit with this upcoming update. You're gonna notice quite a few new features with a more dynamic lock screen, even more improved and optimized Samsung internet app. And that will go well with the device care and the digital well-being and so much more. Even things like having a more flexible home screen with you know, some more widgets, a little bit more widgets around and you know the ability to move around things and also a better volume control, Google Home integration, the ability to change the call background and all that good stuff. So if you do own this tablet, and make sure to keep your eyes out you know for that update make sure to check in your settings check for software update so as soon as it hits you you can go ahead and update your tablet and get access to all of these new just very very nice features this is all i had for you in terms of updates i know i've gotten quite a few comments asking if there were any updates on the a7 receiving Android 11 and One UI 3.1. So the answer is yes, indeed, you will be receiving Android 11 on your tablet along with One UI 3.1. You just have to be patient unless, of course, you are in Europe somewhere and you have the LTE version, which means that you are either seeing it now or you should be seeing it within the next couple of days or so. I'm just hoping that it doesn't take too long to, you know, be rolled out to the rest of the world, you know, whether it's India or Africa or North America and all that good stuff. So I'm very much looking forward to receiving that update here so I can share with you and share some of the features that come loaded with it. Again, to those people hoping that we get Samsung DeX on the A7, I am 100% with you all. I would love to see that on the A7 just to see how well it would play with this tablet. But like I said earlier, do not hang your hopes on that. Just just think, well, if they add it, fine. If not, you're going to get some pretty awesome features with Android 11 and One UI 3.1. Anyways, let me know what you think, you know, what else you think is going to be added to the A7 once it's updated to Android 11. I would love to, you know, catch you in the comment section there so we can get that little back and forth going as we always do. Make sure to like this video if you haven't done so. If you do know someone who would be interested, Make sure to share the video, of course. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. I don't know if I asked to subscribe in the video. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But anyways, thanks again for watching this. I'm gonna catch you in the comment section like I always do. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video again, like I always do. And as always, of course, stay safe out there.